Good morning. Welcome to the Community for Conscious Living weekly live broadcast. Today is Sunday, September 1st of 2024. The Community for Conscious Living is a community dedicated to personal transformation for universal harmony, healing the planet by making inspired changes in ourselves and in our daily lives that create a sustainable environment and a peaceful world. Today, our topic is integrating the younger self. Integration of all parts of ourselves is key to being able to move forward, to heal ourselves, to come into wholeness, to have success, and to be able to move forward into a world of peace, compassion, love, sustainability, that which we come to, to focus on every week. <laughs> Last week, we went into our, we, we traveled forward last week to our future selves to really uh, inquire into and explore what is the world that our future self, our ideal path of our future self wants to be living in. How does it feel to live in that world? What is that world? How can we really turn our compass and direct ourselves so that our daily habits today are living into that world? now and we got some advice some uh, revelation from our future self about what are the things we need to do today to align us with that future world of love compassion peace justice equality freedom sustainability for our planet and for all life on the planet and today what we're going to do is we're going to connect with that vision again briefly and then we're going to go back to our younger self to the time when our programming came in that says that life somehow has to be this other way, this way that it is that we've been conditioned to live into or taught to believe, so many things we've been taught to believe that we have to have now in order to uh, survive. And these things, if we really look at them, do not belong into or fit into a world of peace and sustainability. So we've got to drop them. We've got to let them go as we move forward. So we're going to go back to the time when that programming came in and then just before to really connect with the wisdom of the child and the knowing self, the knowing self that came into this world before all the programming got put into place. So we're going to then bring that forward to integrate that and uh, align all of the parts of ourselves and and um, face them into the direction of this future world that we're going to live in. Again, bringing everything together in alignment so that we can move as much as possible smoothly and clearly into this sustainable environment and peaceful world, a world of love, peace, compassion, mercy, justice, equality, freedom for all. All right, so let's go ahead and come into our circle. Let's come into our circle and imagine us all together sitting side by side, shoulder to shoulder, elbow to elbow, knee to knee, coming together as one. And to bring everything to face toward the center. Imagine us like spokes on a wheel between your heart and your eyes and your face and your belly, your hara facing everything toward the hub of the wheel. And as we meet as one and our hearts come together, together we call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you and let yourself just speak directly, call directly with all of your heart. We call on you, we ask you to send your essence of your pure divine light. Imagine, perceive, feel this pure divine light streaming into our space and then coming right into this space right in front of you and just filling the space to surround you. And as you inhale, breathe this light into your body breathe this pure divine light and let it just move through your pores penetrate your skin pure cleansing light 
purifying light, healing light, moving through the pores of your skin, infusing into your tissues, being absorbed into your nervous system and traveling. Light is like electricity and it travels through the electrical system of your body, your nervous system, just opening the pathways, the clear pathways, cleaning up, cleaning up your nervous system, any of the old programming that's not not in your highest favor and your highest good and the good for all. Cleaning up those pathways. Cleansing and purifying and traveling through your whole body. Just bringing your whole body into an aligned, cleansed, purified, and steady state. And as you inhale, draw that all the way into the core of your body, that vertical core that runs through the top of your head and all the way through your body, along the front of your spine, halfway front to back of your body, halfway side to side of your body, all the way down the center is pure divine light. And as you inhale the light in from the outside, it comes all the way through and meets the light on the inside. And the light on the inside radiates out to every cell of your body, meeting the light on the outside. And invite every cell of your body to take in this pure divine light and absorb it. Be cleansed and purified and awakened and illuminated. Right? Let it awaken the core truth within every cell of every fiber of your being. And the light from the outside meets the light from the inside until there is no inside and no outside but one light. Ya Noor, Ya Noor, Ya Noor. And again, together, let's call on our source from our hearts. In the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate, we call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your unconditional love. Just imagine, feel, perceive in whatever way you do this pure, unconditional love streaming into the space in front of you. And turn your heart center to face directly into this stream of unconditional love that is pouring into the space right in front of you. And imagine your heart center like a funnel, a funnel of energy that extends from the front of your heart space. And just let it face forward and tip up slightly and receive this gentle waterfall of unconditional love. And let that stream into your heart space and trickle through your heart center all the way into this vertical core of your body, meeting this pure divine light and letting this space be filled with unconditional love. And you can use your breath to breathe this in through your heart center. And if you hit those blocks and barriers and walls around the heart, we all have them. It's the way we protect ourselves when we're not in the meditation space. <laughs> and just let the, the water flow around those blocks and barriers. And if they're ready to go as you exhale, you can blow them out, release them. Even these places are worthy of love, so let them be loved. Invite your heart to receive the love, to be loved. Feel yourself being loved by the purest of all loves, this pure, divine, unconditional love streaming directly into your heart. And just let yourself, as you breathe this into your body and upright your spine, like lengthen your spine. And let your conscious body just lean back into that vertical core. 
lean into that vertical core and receive that flow that gentle waterfall of unconditional love as it flows in just receive it receive and receive and receive let it flow into you and fill your entire being <clears throat> fill your entire being with unconditional love And one more time, <laughs> not one more time, <clears throat> excuse me, just again, let's call on our source in the name of the one most merciful, ever compassionate. We call on you. We ask you to send your essence of your eternal compassion. This compassion is the ocean of living consciousness. It's the ocean that we swim in and we, we play in and we live in. It's our ocean of our earth the greater ocean of pure compassion. And as this compassion just comes in and contains the entire space that we're in, just let yourself, as you inhale in that pure divine light, inhale in that unconditional love, and as you exhale, let your entire being rest into this ocean of pure eternal compassion. Eternal means that it extends beyond our time and space realm. It is beyond the time and space realm. It is compassion. Ever existing, ever encompassing, unconditional, holds you, loves you, supports you, sustains you, and let your entire being rest into this ocean of compassion. Filled with pure divine light, unconditional love, eternal compassion, resting into this ocean. Let yourself be held. Let yourself be supported. Let yourself be contained. And feel yourself being loved and receive that love. And as I said last week, just continue, actually, continue to breathe in this pure divine light, unconditional love, and eternal compassion. Feel yourself held in this ocean. And I'm going to take us back to where we left off last week, where we connected with our future selves and the world we want to live in. And if you were not here last week, that's okay. Just take a minute now and imagine, those of us who have done other things since then we need the refresher anyway so imagine this future self and make the intention to connect really connect in along the the timeline of the time and space reality connect in with your future self the best version the highest version for all of the planet and all of existence and for sustainability and peace Connect in with that version of your future self that lives in this ideal world of love and peace, compassion, mercy, justice, equality, freedom. Connect with that self. And just let that self, let that self show you like give you a taste of what that feels like to live in this world and let yourself so let yourself be there for a minute and like take in that vision Take it into your consciousness. Your mind doesn't have to understand it, but let the vibration of your energy body, your subtle energy body, let it absorb that feeling. Let it absorb that vision. And really let yourself, like, feel yourself living it, being it, in it, like yourself at the center of it, and let yourself, your 
vibration be immersed into the vibration of this world of love, peace, compassion, mercy, justice, equality, and freedom. Immerse into it, live it, and be it. Okay, just there is a, a divine name called Al Muqtadir, and that is foreign to our English language. Muqtadir, M U, like a Q T A D I R, Muqtadir. Okay, and that is a, the all powerful, the omnipotent. The determining all things and an Al Muqtadir, I'll just read you one line from uh, Neil Douglas Klotz's Sufi Book of Life. Al Muqtadir is the divine power. The divine power not only operates through particular centers but also already exists in every particle of existence, which already is, not just simply contains, but is divine power. So divine power exists in every particle of existence. Every particle of existence is a manifestation of divine power. So let yourself really like, live into this call on that divine power al muqtadir al muqtadir as we just call on that power of from our source this is the omnipotent it is like that which contains all potentials it is all powerful let that infuse this potential pure potential of this world of love, peace, compassion, mercy, justice, equality, freedom, sustainability. Let that infuse into you this vision from your future. Let your conscious body really get a taste of it. And now make the intention that that stay with your conscious body, the conscious aware body. Right? Let it come into your awareness as it's already here, right? Not, if not everything is already here. So let this vibration like, be a part of your consciousness as you come back now into your present day self and now we want to just kind of go inward so in your present day self just breathe that into your core breathe that into your core that vibration of this world, everything that it feels like to live in pure peace, to live in a world of compassion. This means no more wars, no violence, no killing. No killing of our planet or our animals. really living in peace, compassion, love, where we are supporting and loving and caring for each other. And everything is has enough to complete its cycle of life. In peace. And with more than enough to survive 
and to thrive physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And let that vibration really take hold into your cellular consciousness. Because we have to believe in peace. We talk a lot about lifting our vibrations so that we are preparing ourselves to move into that world of peace. Lifting our vibration to vibrationally be there now. Really let this take hold in your cellular consciousness. And take a full breath, breathing all of the parts of yourself into the core of your body. So just imagine like, you know, there's so many parts, so many aspects of ourselves and so many voices and so many different belief patterns all coexisting in this, in this subtle body and the physical body. So just invite all of the parts of yourself into, as Neil Douglas Klotz also says in the Sufi Book of Life, like gather around wisdom's table with your heart, the heart of wisdom and truth at the center, the deep heart. Like at the head of the table and gather all the parts of yourself around the table. So invite all of your parts into the core of your body. And as you exhale, drop down, land into your pelvic bowl. Again, lean into your spine, into the back of your heart. And just focus your breath into, like at the back of your heart space, right there along your spine. Like your B at the head of wisdom's table as all of the parts of yourself gather around the table. And invite all of the parts of yourself to feel this vibration of what it feels like to live in this world of peace. What it feels like to live in a world of enough, enoughness, more than enough, abundance. To live in a world where everything in nature, our plants, our animals, our water, our air, can survive and thrive in its natural state. And we all have enough. And just breathe with that. Breathe with that. Invite all of those parts of yourself again to feel this vibration. And receive this vibration. And just feel inside yourself. Just notice, is there like one that pops up that raises the hand and says, yeah, but, yeah, but we can't survive without this, right? Because there are so many parts of our industrialized world that are not sustainable if we truly want to live in peace. And if we want to have a sustainable planet, if we want to have a live in a way that respect the life force of every being. There are a lot of things in our world that we have to let go of. So that little hand that comes up and says, yeah, but, yeah, but we can't let go of this or we'll die, right? There's a lot of that that's been conditioned into us, right? I saw a, a a thing on Facebook yesterday of a, a, a an artist activist that was creating art with messages of peace, but she was creating them on leather. And in our future world, and in our world now, we 
There's so much cruelty in the animal agriculture system, leather killing animals, you know, that's not a part of compassion and love and sustainability for all. That's one of those things that's got to go. And I'm sure that she meant to be spreading her message on what she considered beauty. We have to expand, expand our awareness to what is it really, what is the impact, right? And I know, yes, paper also has an impact on the planet. Everything has some impact on the planet. Being here on the computer has an impact on the planet. Everything has some impact on the planet. I still believe that with the animals, that is at the core of the detriment of the planet in every way. And that is one choice that we can, most of us can very easily make is to let go of any use of all any and all animal products let that go but there's a part right there's a part of us that has been conditioned for most people even think of that as a child when you were weaned from your mother's breast if you were breastfed or from the formula which so many of us had at the people my age but when we were weaned from that bottle, we were taught that in order to survive, we had to have the milk from the baby cow's mom. That's hormonally, nutritionally, everything, not a match with the physical body and we just got weaned. So having any form of milk beyond the time of being weaned this is not aligned with nature, let alone the milk from another species, species that's way bigger than we are and doesn't have the same kind of like physical organ system and digestive system, doesn't have the same nutritional needs. Why would we go to that baby's mom that's nutritionally, hormonally, every which way not a match? And it's a system that's extremely cruel to the animals. So again, if there's a part of you that's been conditioned for that, that's a, that's a yeah, but that comes up for a lot of people. Yeah, but that's not something, right? There's a part of us that's been conditioned to believe that that's part of our survival and we can't let it go. So. Again, just being at the head of the table. Let's put yourself back into the back of your heart space. If I pulled you out there, back into the back of your heart space, gathering all of the parts of yourself around wisdom's table. There's a yeah, but that raises a hand. So just notice who is that self? Is this going to be a part of yourself from your past? And let's be present with, right? Be present with that part of yourself. And just let yourself just sit with one-on-one -on -one with that part of yourself. And notice what is the age of that self? If you have a rough idea, it doesn't have to be exact. And let yourself travel with that part of yourself Back to the time where this conditioning first came in, where this belief pattern was first programmed into the psyche, into the consciousness. There are probably many times where it's been reinforced along the way. And see if you can go back to the time where that first came in. And just be present with her. Right? And still carrying this vibration of this world of peace 
as you move back in time with her or him excuse me and let yourself go back even a little bit further to just before the time where this programming came in and if this is something that came in from like before birth into this particular lifetime just let yourself go inward to connect in with the knowing self of this child or this younger part of yourself connect in with the knowing self and be with the wisdom be with the wisdom the innate wisdom of this being as this, this younger younger you came into the planet and sit heart to heart with the wisdom of this child and the knowing self the self that knew before it got programmed let yourself connect heart to heart and really feel the love and the appreciation for that wisdom i'm calling yah hakim the divine power of wisdom Joaquin, the divine power of wisdom. Let yourself really immerse in that wisdom, in that appreciation, that love, right within every being. And especially the children, there's incredible wisdom. They know, they know love, they know compassion. They know peace. The, the counter gets programmed in. So let yourself be with that wisdom. Really feel that love and appreciation. Connect heart to heart with the heart that contains that wisdom. And let yourself just breathe with her. Like bring that knowing self that wisdom that heart of wisdom bring that forward connect with her or him and just breathe excuse me breathe with her and feel Feel that wisdom. Let your inner wisdom, your knowing self, connect with that knowing self and really like bring her into your heart. Like and feel her or him in your own body and let that wise knowing self really grow up inside of you and take up the space of your physical body. and feel that taking up your space growing up inside of you and let that merge with you that wise knowing self from before the programming connecting with your wise knowing self right part of you that is healing and integrating and let that become one body really integrate the wisdom of that younger self into your into your subtle energy body into your physical space into your heart into your knowledge and your wisdom and let's 
both of you or all of you in your integrated self. Again, immerse into that vibration of that future world of peace, the future world of love, the future world of compassion, the future world that is completely sustainable and has more than enough for all life on the planet to live with equality and justice and freedom, to thrive in its natural state, to live in fulfillment, enjoy and love, contentment, And let all of the parts of yourself come together. The wisdom of your initial knowing self before the programming. The wisdom that you have gained through your healing now. The future of the ideal world of peace, compassion, justice, equality, freedom and pure unconditional love and just let all of the parts of yourself integrate as one past self present day self future self and turn all of this integrated parts of yourself to face your source. Face your source. And let yourself be seen. And if you have a prayer that you'd like to make or conversation you'd like to have with your source at this time about moving into this future as this means living it today as in the neil douglas clots said here The divine power not only operates through particular centers, but also already exists in every particle of existence, which already is, not just simply contains, but is divine power. So this divine power is already here. It is in every particle of your existence. You can live into it and be it now. Let yourself receive and breathe that in. Let all the parts of yourself align and any of that programming that has said, yeah, but just ask for that. Ask your your uh, guides on the unseen realms. Ask your source. Just release that from your belief patterns, from your programming, from your psyche. Just release that part of you that feels you need to be reliant and that there is no other way. Just let that be released as all of the parts of yourself align and face your source. And really, if there is a a beliefs, that come from the knowing self, right? Just ask your source, ask your source. If your source wants to give you a new template to live into, that will help you to live into that world of peace. 
starting now. Just let yourself receive that. Open your heart and say yes. And let that come in. And again, integrate all the parts of yourself to live now for the future of peace. Feel the peace. Envision the peace. Immerse in the peace. Be the peace. Ya salam. Invite every cell of your body to take that in, to receive it, to be it. And may all of your actions be governed by this knowledge, inner knowledge and wisdom in service to peace. Peace love, compassion, sustainability, justice, equality, freedom. Un payakun, be and it is, be and it is, be and it is. All right, so take a deep breath, breathe that all into the very core of your being, elongate your spine, let it fill the entire core of your being, lean back into your spine and receive it. And as you exhale, drop down, land into your pelvic bowl, anchor into your center of gravity, the center of your belly space, lean into the back of your heart, let your entire being receive, 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 and be kun payakun. Okay, so I'm going to wrap up the recording now. And for those of you listening, you're invited to join us live on Sundays at 10 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time, 7 a.m. U.S. Pacific Time. You can find information for joining us live at communityforconsciousliving.com, communityforconsciousliving.com. While you're there, pick up your copy of the 10 Spiritual Principles of Our Human Existence. It's a one sheet that is a just a reminder of who we are, what we are, what this earth journey is about, what this world is about, why we're traveling this path. It just reminds us to put things in perspective as we're moving through our day to day and making face with these choices that just seem sometimes impossible. And it also comes with a 15 minute downloadable guided meditation to help you to connect with the pure divine light, the unconditional love and the eternal compassion that is the core of who you are at the core of your being. And when you do sign up, you will receive the reminders of these Sunday events and the replays and every once in a while and there's other things we have going on you'll be notified of that too all right with that I thank you very much for being here that's communityforconsciousliving.com I love you very much and I'll see you next week